Hey guys, uh, today I just want to do a little video showing you how I like to attach my table base to my top by using a couple of different uh, pieces of hardware and um, hopefully there's a couple of tips, a little techniques that will help you do this successfully too. So the way I like to attach my table base to my top is by using this guy. So this is a table top insert. You can use it in multiple uh, different ways. Um, I use it also as a draw stop. But in this case, this guy is just going to get buried into the top and then it will, it will accept a quarter 20 bolt. So backing up a little bit, I've already made my hardware. So this stuff was milled. I milled out of uh, some 3 8 inch or 3 16 thick brass. And the way it works is this guy will look like this. This gets uh, countersunk into the apron of the table and mortised into it. And then it lays down and this guy is going directly under it, right in the middle. So this has an elongated hole and it allows the tabletop to do what it wants to do. This tabletop is going to expand and contract. And it's very important that you let it do that. So I've already marked my table out. I'm going to get ready to drill this guy out. Okay, to drill this out, this has a, a 3 8 OD um, that's required. They tell you to use a 3 8 bit to, to drill this. So I have my brad point bit, 3 eighths of an inch. This is a quick little pointer, nothing uh, real original about it. But I've made blocks like this for many years. Um, and if you've done it too, you've probably noticed uh, they're somewhat limited. Um, depending on the depth, uh, usually it rests off my chuck. So therefore I would have to make multiple blocks for different depths. So what I've done is I've basically using this uh, quarter 20 collet. Um, 3 8 sorry, it's a 3 8 ID collet that has this little hex screw, little set screw and that way I can drop this on, get it where I want it, bring this up behind it and that sets my depth. So I'm just going to put this, I already have this uh, penciled out, I'm going to put this guy in the middle of that elongated hole. Alright, that looks pretty good. Okay, so now it's time to put this sucker in here. If anyone's ever used these before, you know this can be a bit of a challenge. The way they want you to use it is this little slotted hole goes up. Uh, I have never had much luck using it that way. Now, one thing I would point out is I'm using brass hair. Honestly, steel uh, would be better. They offer these in steel so it'd be a little more stronger than this brass. Now, I'm using this guy. I don't like using their tool they have that goes in here and you're meant to use with a drill. Um, so I'm going to use this other tool they have, a little handheld one. Um, but a little point I would like to uh, you know, point out is if you just put this guy on here and try to put this down inside, a couple things happen. One, as you start pushing this down, this grain starts lifting up and it can blow out and uh, blow out and look pretty ugly. And the other thing that can happen is this, and it tends to always happen, this guy will end up threading itself onto this actual deinstaller. And so when you get down to final depth, you try to bring it up, this guy is stuck on it, so it comes up with it. It's incredibly frustrating. So quick and you know easy solution, a little fender washer, put that on first. And now I put this on backwards. Because once it's in there, I never want it out anyway, and you can still get it out. There's, there's a way to do that. But um, so that guy just locks down, and now I'm ready to go. To put this in, you've got to put a lot of pressure down. I'm going to put a little wax on here too, just to kind of help it. A lot of pressure. You do not want to rock this thing back and forth. Alright, so now it's caught, I can kind of go to town and get it in, pushing down really firm. See how that just released straight away, it didn't lock onto it. Get rid of some of that wax. 
and it does a really clean job. It's, there's no blowout. So that works really well for doing that. Hope you found this useful. Okay, so now I've got the inserts in. It's just a matter of lining these up and screwing it down. So what I'm using here are some quarter 20 countersink heads. Uh, it would be nice if I could have got these in brass. I probably could, uh, but these are going to work just fine. These are stainless steel. So now I'm just going to line that up. You can see how it just sucks it right down. So the nice thing about this is this allows you to take this top on and off as many times as you want and you're not going to you know, end up stripping the hole. Uh, it just bothers me using screws, um, just from experience. If you need to refinish the top or if you're moving and you want to take the top off, put it on and off, it's just, you know, it's going to strip out those screws. And also it looks really nice. Um, big believer of, you know, if you can see it and, and even if not, it needs to look just as good as the outside. So I hope you found this video helpful. Um, and I plan to do a few more little short videos like this. Uh, cheers. Mm -hmm.